Let's see how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanted this shit forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra What's happening guys, this is Liz Polga from Fight Division here at Mazda Gym and again we're using all the guys here now, we've got the Fight Division merch, can I just spin you around there please Matt, look at that, the sweet science, so this is Fight Division merch that will be dropping, but we are here obviously to talk to all the fighters as well, we've got Alex Kenton um, upstairs with the gloves are off, so there's a lot going on today, um, hi, how are you, so I feel like I've not caught up with you for, for a while now, um, talk to us a little bit Mark about what you've been doing the, the last I'd say like two, three months of your journey in Muay Thai. Uh, just been training every day. Um, I was supposed to fight on Raw Combat yep. Championship with Emma. Obviously, uh, Joe Lemire pulled out with nine days to go, I think, so that didn't end up happening. Yeah. It's not ideal, like. Um, in, in that sort of situation, I mean, obviously, it's completely beyond your control, but again, I was speaking to Emma about this. Like, how does, how does that affect you mentally, thinking, God, I've given everything to these, like, however long the camp's been. I've given everything, like, say, you're training every day, and then nine days before. Like, how did you feel? How did you deal with that news? Yeah, it, it broke my heart, to be honest. That was yeah. the hardest I've ever seen in my life. I was literally... Ready for it. I was given every enemy power to win that fight. Mm. And I would have won it as well. So, obviously, it weren't ideal, but just gotta, I've just kept ticking over now. Um, just waiting for the next opportunity to come up. I'm ready for something to come up next week. So, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. just, just got to treat it like that. That, that is one thing, again, that I love about the Master Gym is that you're all on it every single day. Like, you're not joking when you say you live and breathe it. Like, it, even now, like, mid-interviews, we've had, like, people still carrying on with the clinch and the sessions behind. It's like, we don't stop for anything. Like, has it has it always been like that since you've been here? Yeah, it's all, always been like that. We always train, like, in case something comes up, you never know. It's, mm. There's pull-outs every week. It yeah. happens on shows all the time, and we'll jump in. Whatever yeah. big fights or not, we'll jump in, and we'll... We'll help out, and more often than more often than not, we'll come away with the win. So yeah, works I love out that. yeah. It, it doesn't feel like you guys really do like fight camps. I mean, obviously, I know you do, but it's just a case of like just continuous every day. Mm -hmm. It's like every day is a fight camp. More, more the sort of mindset. Um, I want to talk to you as well. I've been dying to talk to you about this about one of your um, one of your sponsors, the Mental Shift. Is it the Mental Shift? Yeah, yeah. Um, because I've, I've seen a couple of interviews where you've been talking about that and like the, the mindset and the mentality of a fighter and especially for men as well is so, so important. So like, how did you be, get, get involved with those? Um, I'd done an interview for um, a university. They were doing um, like stuff to do with mental health. They were coming in the gym yeah. speaking to Alex and they spoke to me as well, like just asking about like my mental health, what had gone on in my life, stuff like that, how yeah. fighting out with it. And um, Kai, who's um, like the owner of The Mental Shift, reached out to me. He actually sponsored um, Jacob first, but he reached out to me. He was like, oh, do you want to do an interview for us? Mm -hmm. I've seen like your story. I want to, like, I like it, basically. I want to yeah. I want to get you involved. And then I just spoke to him, like, every day uh, while I was in Thailand. And then he just, he was like, look, I want to sponsor you. I want to help you out. I want to support your career and that. Um, so he come down, done some filming, done an interview, and, yeah, just went from there, really. I love that, because it seems like... Um like a, a, a real alignment of like obviously you're talking about this because it's it, very important to you and bringing awareness to it which absolutely incredible and then it sort of brings the opportunity to you because you've been out speaking about it so so openly um so so how have you found like working with them like is there anything what what sort of things like when you're saying you're speaking to them every day like what sort of things are they telling you do they help you with the mindset into the fighting or is it just in it more in, in sort of like general life for everybody it just anything really if just whatever they can do it's more they, they're basing it off Muay Thai. Muay Thai is obviously yeah. it's growing fast, you know what I mean? Um, so he wants that to be like the face of the sport, but he sponsors like MMA fighters, mm. different things like that. But he just wants to, like, he wants combat sports to be like, like supporting mental, men's mental health because yeah. I feel like everyone thinks fighters are just okay. We just yeah, deal yeah, with yeah. when yeah. obviously it's not, that's not always the case. Things go on in like your personal life and that, that you might struggle with mm. um so he's obviously doing a fantastic job helping with that he's going in schools and just yeah. all just all stuff like that really yeah is that something you could see yourself uh, in the future doing like going to the schools and stuff and obviously talking about your experience with it is yeah. that something you'd like to do 100 percent, yeah because that's what i feel like muay thai saved my life save probably yeah. some of the lads in your yeah, life absolutely. same with everyone with the sport so being able to spread that to other kids who were like growing up or just people not even just lads girls 
whatever, anyone, old people, young people, yeah. just making sure that everyone has, like, they feel comfortable and yeah, it helps with the mental health. Do you know what, it's amazing, it's so, it's so admirable that uh, at such a young age as well, like you say, it doesn't matter, like young, old, male, female, whatever, but that that you are speaking about it because sometimes it's a, a little bit harder, again, I don't want to generalise, but when like older people are like giving the lessons, but like when you're of an age where you can speak to people and, and they'll really listen because they're like, oh, he's my age, he understands it. So just the fact that you're you're very relatable for a lot of young men, so I think it's incredible that you're doing it. Um, how has Muay Thai then, if obviously if you don't want to answer any of these questions, absolutely fine. But how has Muay Thai like uh, been beneficial for your mental health and your journey? Um, I've just I've had stuff that have happened in my life. Um, mm. My dad went to jail when I was like very young, and he got me into Muay Thai, so I felt like it just sort of I wanted to keep going for like just for that. Really, I knew it was going to help me. Yeah. I knew it was going to help like my life in general. Like when you're going into high school. Obviously, bullying, stuff like that. You can handle it yourself, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so then, um, and I just feel like it's just, it's just good for everyone in general. Like, mm. it just, it just brings you down, just brings you back to reality. Like, when someone comes in the gym, a normal grown fella will come in the gym, and then you've got like 15 year old, like, like Josh Duncan, who is just going to absolutely waste you everywhere. <laughs> yeah. To humbled. Be, yeah, humbled, <laughs> exactly, yeah. So when there's, some, when there's something like that, it just brings you back down to earth, brings you back to reality, mm. and just lets you know, like, we're just like normal people as well, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? 100%. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And and how beneficial is it to have, like, a, a purpose, not a purpose, but like, do you know what I mean? Like a set, a goal, especially when the fights are on. So obviously when you've not got a fight, you're still training as if you have. And then when the fight news gets gets confirmed, you're like, right, okay, I've got something to head for now. Because I think with, with, with a lot of mental health, it's, it's so beneficial when you've got something to look forward to. You've got like that little bit of hope. You've got like, okay, I'm doing it for this. Like, do you feel like when you get a fight confirmed, like, Okay, I'm switched on again now. Yeah, yeah. I feel like as soon as like we're on it all the time, we're like we're preparing for fights, but when it gets actually announced, when like the posters out, when people are like, yeah. that's when it's like right, it's on now. I you mean, know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm locked in, and then everything just gets turned up a gear. Mm. And that's just sort of the way it always has been here. It's always so the way it's always going to be as well. Yeah, it's definitely. just the way, just the way we all we all work, the way we all push each other. Just, yeah, that's it's just, that just, it's just the mindset of the gym, it absolutely is, and that's that's why we love it. Um, so loads of people, and it's so true, say like the fight game, whether it's boxing, Muay Thai, MMA, whatever it is, it's the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. So I think to be partnered with a mental health team is like, it, it's so, so true because it, it really is the highest of highs and lowest of lows. So how have you been able to like sort of navigate the th those really extreme, like sort of like different ends of the scale? Sorry, I've just completely <laughs> went blank. <laughs> no, it's like, I'm saying so like so Muay Thai is very like the highest of the highs and then the lowest of the lows. So how do you deal with like those those big dips in like wow. there's there's so much adrenaline and so so much like deep feelings behind it? How do you deal with the low lows and the high highs? Just having good people around you. Like mm. this Mazda Gym's just we're just like a family. Like we all went to school with each other. I went to school with Alfie. I know, went I to love school that. with Kenny. Jake went to school with Owen, I've knew Owen since I was a baby. So we all know each other on like a personal level. We all like we're all actually mates, not just not yeah. just teammates, you know what I mean? So when we come in the gym it's like we're all we're all just like a family and then when we're in the ring, it's like we're never in there on our own. We're yeah, all we've got that. like when you go back to your corner and you've got your actual like best mates there supporting yeah. you, shouting, it's like just gives you that yeah. extra push. So obviously Losses are going to come. Losses come in life, you know what I mean? So mm. if you lose and then you come back in the gym a few days later, have a, few, have a rest or whatever, and you come in, you've got your family with you. It's, yeah, you know what that. I mean? Just boost you, makes you want to get back in straight away, makes you want to right your wrongs. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, we do. And like I say, every time we come in, you can feel it as well. It's not just like a tagline for an interview, like, oh, we're a family. It's like, it's no, you can really, you can really, really see it. Um, so have you got any fight news locked in for us then? We've just got Alfie to, to tell us what he's, what he's up to now with the world title coming up. Is there anything locked in for you? Uh, yeah, I've got a few fights booked in. Yes. Um, April 26th on in Rajadam then Stadium. Oh um, I've just been confirmed with Josh Duncan. We're fighting on that show. Um, I'm fighting on the 6th of July for the WBC British title oh on God. Love to Fight. And I'm on the Hungry Side Super Show uh, oh, on we'll the around. 10th of yeah. August, yeah, Amazing. in Scotland. So that, that is like a, a load locked in. So like, when you have more than one fight, do you sort of like train for them all as a whole or do you just focus on the next one? Um, just try and focus on the next one but we don't really have like we don't really do game plans for like specific opponents it's just sort of like we let them deal with us mm. because 
I love that. We, we believe here that it's just like we are superior to every other gym and I truly believe that we are. Um, so we just let them worry about us, let them focus on us. If they want to make a game plan for us, we're going to come with something different anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. That's just how we work. We let them deal with us. I absolutely love that. That's the tagline. We need that on a T-shirt for us. We let Mazda, we let them deal with us. I absolutely, I absolutely love that. Well, listen, it sounds like you've got a very active year ahead. Thank you so much for chatting to me and for being so open with us as well. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. Yeah, I've been wanting this forever. I've been in the field with whatever.